there's a few people here who are interested in hearing about the work we did together and how you're doing now and what's happened since you left the streets. But maybe we should start by, read, you want to read this, this first thing? Sure. Yeah, are you nervous? <laughs> Not my thing, but sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read the, the first paragraph, that one. It says, Jim. So, yeah. <laughs> so Beth, Echo, where to start? <laughs> begin at the beginning. I mean, but do I begin with tweakers or, or normal suburban kids? I mean, right now the book is on abuse and neglect, but I don't want to make this a straight documentary. I don't, I don't think normal kids are that normal. <laughs> Look, you have this Cosby-type show that people think is going on. Then you have this horrible family where people think abuse kids are coming from. And then you have this stuff in the middle, which is where most people are. I'm trying to think of how you can get to the middle part into it. You know, show little parts of the perfect family. And then show the horrible nightmare. Maybe use it as a basis so people would be more open to seeing the problems with the average kid. That's a kind of, there's a kind of despair that kills the innocence that kids are supposed to have. I mean, when you said that, when you said that, that was pretty smart. I don't know if you remember that time when I came to you talking about this stuff. I think I was smarter then than now. <laughs> <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> I don't know. You get old, you get stupid. <laughs> hey, Echo, did you know that your mom called me? <laughs> really? How come every time I hear love is a battlefield, I want to go home? <laughs> Do, did I really ever say do maybe do? Yes. Seriously. <laughs> My mom's cool, actually. Uh, me and her get along a lot better now. She's a lot like me and gets blinded shit. Is that true? Is that true still? No. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't always know what to do with you. I don't always know what to do with her either. Then again, I don't always know what to do with me. <laughs> Why should she? I'm, I'm going to go back to see her, but first I'm going to go down to L.A. You never did go back to see her until the end. No. Nope. What, what do you think kept you on the streets and not going back? I, I didn't really have any desire to go back. I didn't really have an attachment there. Yeah, but I mean, it wasn't as if your life was that easy. I remember once my mother and father and me drove all over the country and we saw everything and anything you could see. It was the best time. We stopped in the middle of this light green forest. I wandered off and climbed a tree. Nothing but bright green everywhere. That was the time my parents were happiest together and I was happiest with them. That was the only time I could remember us being a real family. That's Echo on the right. And then this is a map that <coughs> that Echo um, drew, in which she, she talked about her mother and father getting divorced, and then her father, um, her stepfather, who was the town police officer, uh, started raping her. She ended up running away, and then they would catch her, and then they would hospitalize her, trying to figure out what was wrong with her for running away. And they never really got to the, pro you know, the root of the problem, and then she ended up really running away to the West Coast and prostituting herself, et cetera, et cetera. And so I met her 8990. That's uh, Echo getting ready for a date. And then this is Echo saying sometimes remembering ain't too much fun.